Hey guys, what is up? It is Karen aka Caked by Baby K and welcome back to my channel. As you know, we are now into July and you know what that means. It is time for my June favorites. I got my months down this time. It only took me about like three favorites videos to realize what month we are in. Moving on, I have some goodies to talk about with you guys today. It's like a really, really random bunch. I don't have as many favorites this month, but I promise you they're all super amazing. I've been using these like practically every day, so I'm excited to chat about them with you guys, so let's get started. My first product is the Evian Facial Mist. I actually got this in PR a couple of weeks ago, and I started using it a little bit before I went on the Benefit Brow Search. I took it with me on the plane to kind of refresh during the flight and also before and after because, you know, plain skin is a... Not it. I've also been using this as a hydrating factor before doing my makeup, and I find that it's so refreshing and mm, there's just something about it. Like, I know Evian Spray is just like it's like a water based spray, but I don't know. There's just something in here that makes my skin feel so hydrated and supple and it just makes my makeup go on smoother and I genuinely believe that even though it's just like such a tiny step in my makeup routine. I'm gonna be real sad when she runs out. Let's 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 spray some right now because I miss her. So refreshing especially for summer this is perfect. I usually use it before makeup rarely after and I will say that the mister in here isn't really that great. It has a very very heavy spray so if you don't like that, you might not like this one, but I'm telling you the formula in here, it's amazing. It's it's life-changing. Moving on with complexion, my next product is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm not going to talk too much about this because you guys know I've mentioned this in my previous videos, and this is also a cult favorite. Everybody and their mother is talking about this primer. It is apparently a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I personally have not used that one because I'm... <clears throat> broke, but I absolutely love the formula of this. I'm just going to take the beauty community's word for it, that it's a dupe, but the texture is so interesting. It is very, very pore filling, but it doesn't clog your pores. I've used this for probably like two weeks at this point and I've been using it like every day and I have not seen any clogged pores and I usually get those around like this area and in my nose and a little bit on my chin, but it's been amazing and it is so cheap it's only like eight dollars for this they are finally restocked right now so i bought this on their website but i believe that they are also available at target ulta and walmart so if you are in the market for a new primer i would definitely recommend this also from elf there are a couple of elf products in this video because if you guys watched my haul you know that I bought a bunch, but this is their total face sponge. It's looking really raggedy right now, so let's just uh, put her down and away from the camera, but she is exquisite. She is at a great price point. She's only $4. She blends out my base so flawlessly, and I love washing her. She's so easy to wash, and that's like such a big pro in my book. Like, I really like washing my brushes like it's a really weird thing I know most people hate it and I especially love washing my sponges there's just something so satisfying about like squeezing that dirty water out like ooh. she makes it so easy so big plus in my book this next product is also along the lines of skin based skincare this is the elf water droplet balm I'm using this one in the box right now because it is my backup and I can't go into my bathroom right now because there's somebody in it. Um, but this is amazing. It is the most lightweight moisturizer I have ever used. And it's so lightweight to the point where I'm just like, did I even put anything on? Like, it feels so interesting. It is a balm to water formula, but as soon as it like hits the warmth from your face or your hands, it just melts down into a water. It's kind of like an essence, but... It's still a moisturizer because it's like a balm while it's in the component and I just found that so weird but interesting at the same time. I feel like it's gimmicky but at the same time it also works. It legit feels like you're spreading water around on your face but then it absorbs 
and it does feel like a moisturizer. It is very, very moisturizing, which I don't know. It's a weird sensation. You have to try it to really understand what I'm talking about, but I've been using this as my daily moisturizer twice a day, morning and night, and so far my skin has been feeling really, really good. No breakouts. I have pretty sensitive skin, so I was using the Neutrogena moisturizer, but I did mention in my previous videos that I've been looking for something cheaper because I go through so much moisturizer. Like, I like to keep my skin hydrated, honey. And I just needed like something cheaper, but also worked really well. So this moisturizer has been coming in clutch. We are going to do the eye category next. I have quite a few items and we're going to start out with this mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash and I have used this religiously in the past and I just didn't repurchase it because I wanted to try out other products and it takes forever for me to go through a mascara Like when I was done with my roller lash like when I threw it away It still had product in there But it was just so old to the point where I was just like it's not good for my eyes anymore And let me try something new so when I went to New York I got another one of these and I've just been hooked ever since so catch me using this for like the next six months <laughs> I've talked about this before. This is one of the only mascaras that will give my lashes a little bit of a curl. I have very stubborn Asian stick straight lashes. If you're new to my channel, welcome. That's one of the things that I hate about my face is that my lashes don't curl at all. Like I will use a lash curler for probably like 10 minutes and then within five minutes it'll like be back down. My, my lashes grow like this and it's really annoying, but this mascara really truly helps, hence why it's called Roller Lash. Also keeping it in the lash family, I am loving these lashes from Shop Demi Beauty. They reached out to me a couple weeks ago about PR and they wanted to send me their whole lash collection, which of course, I'm always open to trying new lashes. I love lashes. I feel like they're the one thing that I hate buying because I know I'm gonna use them quick and I try to use them as much as possible, like with one pair and I'll stretch that use for as long as I can and I'll take care of them, I'll clean them, whatnot. So when they reached out to me, I was like, hell yeah, give me your lashes. Mm. And I was a little skeptical at first because they didn't have many followers on Instagram. I know that sounds really, really shallow, but you know, when I'm working with companies, the first thing I want to see is like, how do they engage with their followers? And it was really hard because they didn't really have that many followers. I think they had three when I responded to their DM. So I was a little bit skeptical at first, but I'm really glad that it worked out because these are some of the most amazing natural lashes ever. Their quality is like amazing to say the least. These are very, very like everyday natural lashes for me. They are very wispy, but they're also very long. So if you're looking for length, but you don't want that volume, I really recommend these. These are in the style Lulu. Look at those. I'm also wearing um, lashes from them today too. I'm wearing the style let's see Cali so these are a little bit more voluminous but Lulu's are my favorite everyday lash at the moment it's just something about the style that I'm just drawn to and the lash band is so thin which I love so if you are a beginner and you don't want that heavy sensation on your eyelids and you're not used to it I really recommend looking at the lash band and Shop Dem Beauty their lashes all have really thin ones especially the more natural ones so if you're a beginner and you want to try some of these out I would definitely recommend these moving on to brows I have a lot of brow favorites and I'm not going to mention all of them, but this one, this guy, I just have to put this in here. Y'all know I went on a trip with Benefit, so this is in no way sponsored. These are my own opinions. That's my opinion! But this is the 24 hour brow setter, and when I tell you that this keeps my brows in place, it keeps my brows in place. Especially for summer, I am in love with this because it is like cement. I'm not even kidding. Like I will touch my brows throughout the day and I'll be like, damn, 
they're hard, but I love it because it keeps my lashes in place and so it can withstand sweat. I haven't tried like water and I don't really plan to, but this really helps my brows stay in place. So this one gets honorable mention out of all my brow favorites. All right, let's move on to the face. I don't have many face products for this month, but I really do love the e.l.f. metallic flare highlight. I actually hated this in the beginning. I thought it was such a crappy highlight. I was like metallic flare, like this is not blinding at all. But I grew to really love it. I gave it a second chance. This is in the shade um, 24 karat gold, by the way. It's not blinding, but it is very natural. And I love that for my everyday type of makeup. So I use this in my uh, everyday summer beat. If you guys haven't watched that, Link is going to be down below or in the cards, of course, but I feel like it's a very easy highlight to work with, especially if you're a beginner and you don't want something super drastic. It's really hard to go overboard with this highlight because it is very, very natural. It just gives like a really nice soft sheen, which... I mean, I love my blinding highlight, but sometimes I want something a little bit more diffused, a little bit more everyday wear, you know? So this is one of those highlights that does that, and it is a great price point. I mean, e.l.f. is just amazing with their pricing, so you really can't beat it. Who is she? I... I don't know her. These are the Key Australia X Desi Perkins uh, Blue Light Glosses, so they're blue light blocking. And I've mentioned blue light glasses on my channel before. These are just like very high quality frames as opposed to the ones that I used to use. And they're super cute. They're super stylish. Like I love them. They do give a little bit of a warm filter because it is canceling out the blue light. So it's going to protect your eyes from the light coming off your electronics. Being on YouTube and Instagram like all the time, it's going to be draining on my eyes, especially because I wear contacts. So my eyes are already like dry so this really come back to that and they're super stylish like look at them they're so cute i believe these are the mini versions because i know desi has the high keys and the high key minis if any of you guys are wondering what size i wear i wear the minis i also have her high key fades and those are amazing and the last item and certainly the weirdest and most random item in this favorites video is this my new current obsession it is a exfoliating foot mask now you may be wondering how does that correlate to anything ever that you've done on your channel and I'm just gonna be real it doesn't but I've just been having so much fun with it recently that I had to include it so if you guys follow me on Instagram I posted a story of me doing a foot mask. So what this is essentially is a mask that helps your feet peel and it peels off all the dead skin. I did a Instagram story of me wearing this. It looks like huge plastic socks and you like tape it to your feet and you soak it for an hour and then you just continue about your life and you also like soak and moisturize like throughout the next couple of days to help it peel quickly and peel like oh, and peel better so that's what i've been doing and i posted that on my story that i was doing it and so many people dm'd me and they were like does it work i need to know if it works and i'm like girl i did not know that so many people were like into these foot masks and I thought I was weird for doing it and like posting on my story because I have like this weird thing I love peeling skin I'm sorry if that's TMI but I just there's something about it it's so freaking fun and it says on this package that it takes normally like seven days for it to start peeling listen it took me 24 hours to start seeing the peeling effects and if you like soak and moisturize it progresses more like it it's more rapid and it starts quicker but I started peeling so so bad and it was honestly so fun so I posted an update on my story saying like hey if you guys want me to you know send you my foot pics like dm me because i don't want to put it on my story and gross people out that don't want to see it and again so many people dm'd me they slid my dms and they're like hey give us your foot pics 
And it honestly made me so freaking happy to know that there are other weirdos out there that like seeing like peeling foot pics. I'm like reading the reviews on Amazon and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like this is so satisfying. And I was just like scrolling for hours. Anyways, long story short, this is my new favorite thing. It's only been like what, three days now and all the skin has almost completely peeled off. I mean, it did go a little bit faster cause I was like peeling it off and a lot of people were asking me if it hurts no it doesn't hurt at all it's a very very thin layer of skin it's just like the outer layer you know the dead layer and a lot of people were also asking me if it's softer underneath and yes it is softer um not by much for me at least because I don't have really dry feet I feel like I have normal feet I will say though it's really weird the skin on my feet felt so tight for like the day that it took for it to peel and now it still feels a little bit tight like the tops of my feet haven't really started peeling yet so now it feels like it's confined this is going to be really weird but it feels like a butterfly breaking out of its cocoon like i'm not even kidding but anyways i've talked so much about this foot mask i got mine on amazon i will put the link for it down below i got the aloe vera scent but they also have like rose and lavender i believe okay so my battery died what else is new but as i was saying i got mine on amazon i will link it down below for you guys i really really highly recommend if you enjoy peeling skin. That sounds really weird. I promise I'm not a weirdo. But that is it for all these favorites for the month of June. Let me know in the comments down below which one you would like to try. I know I've gotten a lot of requests to do a review on the foot mask. Interesting. So I might do one. Uh, let me know. Thumbs up this video if you guys want me to do that. Other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good good. And I'll see you guys in my next one.